This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody, this is Vinylic Puma, and today I'm back with another Borderlands the pre-sequel unique weapons guide video for you guys today. And we're going to be looking at a big ass shield. Yes, that is the Shield of Ages. This thing has almost 200,000 capacity in the version that you're seeing here. Um, it's got a good recharge rate and a very minimal max health uh, penalty to, I guess, your max health. So that's pretty cool. Now, to get this, all you have to do is you have to beat the Temple of Boom and side with Gladstone as opposed to Tannis. Of course, you can either get a flamethrower in the uh, Tannis Laser of Enlightenment, or you get this big-ass shield here. And, uh... That's pretty much ha the best way to describe it. And I also wanted to go ahead and I wanted to compare this to the Fabled Tortoise. Because as you can see here, the Shield of Ages is just like way better. Now, what I did here is I pretty much tried to match all of the parts that are on both uh, and try to make them identical. And as you can see, we have superior capacity, recharge rate, and less of a uh, penalty to your max health on the Shield of Ages. And this is kind of cool because essentially a quest reward weapon, or item I should say, is better than the legendary that you would farm for. Uh, of course, we had this happen in Borderlands 2 sometimes, where we had, like, the Pimpernel or the Sandhawk being way better than some of the legendaries that were much harder to acquire. Um, so, there is that. And as you can see here, um, I have this skill on Jack called Winning that replenishes the shield uh, pretty well. I mean, pretty much if I get a kill, um, whatever damage I've sustained is pretty much negated. And as you can see here, I mean, it's just such a big shield that the damage these enemies are doing isn't really enough. Now, what I will say is if you are going to get this thing, uh, just beware of, like, electric or shock damage over time effects. Uh, because it'll drain this thing really quickly. And once your shield goes down with this thing, you're, you're kind of screwed in a way. Um, that said, though, um, the other advantage of this thing is that it's Hyperion. Um, on Jack, this will help the company man skill. So you'll have increased accuracy with all weapons and improved critical hit damage. But anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future Borderlands videos. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you all next time. The Vault Hunter is victorious.